there if you are a regular viewer of my channel then you might have seen my clock making videos these are clocks of different types and styles that i have made today i have decided to build a another clock but this one should have a unique design after thinking searching and designing i came up with this new skeletal design that carved in a pcb i think it is beautiful so in this video i will show you how i made it let's get started with this video to show the time we need displays and the best DIY display is the 7 segment display. So I used ECEDA to design my circuit and PCB. As you can see the circuit has 13 LEDs. Here I am using an Arduino Nano as the brain of the circuit. Also I included a DS1307 RTC IC to save the time. Next I converted the circuit diagram into a PCB. I arranged the LEDs in a 7 segment shape and designed the PCB like this. Then I generated and downloaded the Gerber file for PCB fabrication. To fabricate the PCBs I went to jlcpcb.com. JLCPCB offers only $2 for 5 PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order, just click on order now and select the Gerber file. After uploading the Gerber file, you can select the color, thickness, quantity, etc. Here I chose the black color. And finally, I select the shipping method and place the order. After two weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. The PCB quality is super, as always. Now let's solder the components to the PCB. Let's start with the SMD components. To solder the SMD components, I am going to use the reflow method. For that, I applied the solder paste to the pads. Next, I place the components one by one. After that, I place the populated PCB on the hot plate and cook the PCB. I repeated the same steps for the LEDs and finished the SMD soldering. After the soldering of SMD components, I placed and soldered the SDHT components. After the soldering job, our PCBs look something like this. Now let's connect the Arduino to the computer and upload the code. Here is the code. You can download the code and circuit diagram from my website. Links are given in the description. Now the final step is to add an enclosure to the clock circuit. So I designed a case in Tinkercard and I 3D printed it using my Ender 3 version 2. After adding the enclosure, our clocks looks like this. A 
that's all about how I made this new style skeleton clock. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video. Bye.